Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and we've got a storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest as we speak, and that's the one that will then slide down through the Intermountain West in the form of a cold front. So let's go there first. This is Schweitzer up in northern Idaho, and this is a pretty warm storm system, warm flow. So I think they're reporting like 32 degrees there at the base, so mid-mountain and higher, really, you're, you're going to get your best snow totals out of that. But that storm is um, it's potentially dropping rain here on at least the lower part of Timberline up there in Oregon. I'm looking at some of these cameras, and it's, it's again, a really warm flow up in the Pacific Northwest, but you can see some of the moisture on the lens of the camera right there. Let me take you up into Revelstoke. And I said they were going to get snow, and they definitely have gotten it. That You can see on their uh, snow stake gnome, uh, I think they were like six or seven inches overnight, and they probably added to it today. Uh, but conditions there are nice. A good day to be up there in BC and Revelstoke, and you can see some of the other cameras there. So nice conditions. Let me go down to Big Sky. Showing some snow right now in Big Sky. You can see that on the camera. Again, that's really on the front leading edge of that storm system. It's going to be sweeping down through Montana, Wyoming, and clipping the Wasatch of Utah and then moving into Colorado. Um, let me just look at the... Uh, this is pretty cool here. So let me take you over to the... Uh, the visible satellite and look at the snow cover you can see the mountains there in Colorado and Utah and up in Wyoming it's the white that's not moving on this um, pretty cool to see that uh, nice to have the visible satellite you can even see that snow up in the upper Midwest on the ground as well um, so let's back this out just a little bit here let me back it out and um, recenter here and kind of show you what the pattern is um, so essentially what we're looking at, and I showed you those cameras, so you've got this rich flow of moisture with the jet rolling up here into the Pacific Northwest, and then it's curling down like this, and that's what's going to bring that cold front down with that snow into Colorado, and then the flow is kind of moving out into the deep south. But So you've got a wave right here, a low, you've got another one right here, and that one's going to push the cold front down, down through Montana, down through uh, Wyoming, and down into Utah, and then eventually Colorado and northern New Mexico. So it's going to pierce the eastern periphery of this high pressure dome, which is basically right here. It's going to come around the eastern periphery. And what's interesting, and I mentioned this high, um, I think that'll eventually go away. The pattern has a potential to flip, and I talked about it in my blog post this morning, a look into early February, and I talked about the pattern and what I think is going to happen early into February. Um, Look at the, the sort of the pressure anomalies. Um, look at the um, the Pacific North American, the PNA pattern, and how it might agree. And then, of course, I go into my forecast. But check that out, chrystomer.com in the blog section. And subscribe if you're interested, because I tend to do blogs almost every single day. Um, so let's look at what the GFS thinks here. So this is the American model. Let me just, and you can see the snow in the Pacific Northwest, and it rolls down through Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Here's Friday morning right here. It's moving into Colorado's mountains. Um, and then by the time we go to Friday night, Saturday, it's finishing up in Colorado, moving into northern New Mexico. And then that's it. It moves away. There is one more front for the Intermountain West right here, 24 to the 25th, 24, 25. So let me take you back. This is the morning of the 24th. You can see the front coming down through Montana into Wyoming. And then by the time we go to Monday night into Tuesday morning, here's Tuesday morning, it's in Colorado and basically done at that point. It's finishing up and moving into northern New Mexico. So here's Wednesday morning, the 26th. Um, there's a little something right there, maybe on the backside, but that just, there's hardly anything to it there into the 27th. Let me just take you through the end of the month. So here's the morning of the 28th. Here's the 29th, and this definitely grabs my attention. Let me shift your focus to the East Coast. This is, if this happens, this is an incredibly strong storm system, 29 and 30. Look at the low. That's in the 950s. Just something to keep your eyes on for later in the month. One last big low to kind of end the month in the Northeast before the pattern might flip. So here is... Um, the morning of the 31st. Notice, look at the action hitting California. This is significant. We've basically gone the entire month of January without anything significant in California. This is the first signs of something, and this is what I'm talking about in that blog post I wrote, the potential for something to shift across the West. All right, so here's the 1st of February. Look at that storm sliding through the desert southwest. That's something new. 
and then by the time we get in here's the second the third look at that big storm in the pacific northwest and it also slides through california so there may be something to this that the pattern could flip in early february all right let's look at my uh, snow totals here We'll do them in two phases, all of today through the 23rd. So you've got that front that basically comes out of Montana, down through Wyoming, Utah, and into Colorado, two to six inches in Colorado, maybe four or five inches in the Wasatch, and six, seven, eight inches up there in the Tetons, big sky, gets potentially four out of that. All right, here's my uh, phase two, and uh, this is basically the 24th through the 29th. So there, again, there's a front coming through the 24th, 25th, which kind of lays down most of this in Colorado, another another two to seven inches there in the central and northern mountains. Um, and then a little bit there, barely anything in Utah, nothing in California through the 29th. So we're going to have to wait until after the 29th. Uh, a little bit in the, uh, the Tetons and then... Uh, some moderate snows up there in the Pacific Northwest, light to moderate up into uh, BC and Banff. So there you go. There is my outlook uh, for snow through the end of the month. And then I go a little bit beyond that in that blog post. So thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.